Anyway, for this video, what we're going to do is we are going to find the critical value for a T distribution. So if you are using a rejection region in a T test, then you would use this method. Um, if you have a left tail, that means that your alpha is down here. For a right tail, your alpha is in the right side. And for a two tail, it's in both. Um, for all of them, this is a very, very simple process. All you have to do to find the critical value um, is, and depending upon your text, it could be T star with degrees of freedom, or you can use T sub zero. So that is something that I forgot to talk about. Degrees of freedom, remember, is our sample size minus one. So we would have to do 24 is what we would look for. So on our table, it's very, very simple process. All we have to do for a left or a right tail is we look at the one tail. If we have a two tail, we look at the two tail. And then we find our alpha level that we had. So for this one, since we had um, an alpha of 0 0.01, we would go to this one right here, the 0 0.01. And then we would go down and we would find our degrees of freedom. So since our degrees of freedom are 24, we would come across here and it's 2.492. So we have to remember for a left tail that it must be negative. So this is 2.492. The right tail, our T naught or T star, however it's notated in your textbook, would be positive 2.492. Um, and don't make the mistake of for a two tail just going, oh, automatically I can just put both of them down because that is not the case. Um, what you would do is you would look at the two tail 0 0.01 and then you would go down and you would find your 24 again. Um, this time it's 2.797. And you would also have to report the negative because you need both of them. So you would have to put both the negative and the positive because our T naught or our T star, depending upon how your textbook uses it, is the value that determines when we start rejecting or failing to reject when it um, becomes too extreme. So if you were using a hypothesis test after you calculated your standardized test statistic, if it falls in this rejection region, then you reject. If it does not, then you fail to reject. As always, thanks for watching.